Hello, and welcome to On Stage at the BACP. As always, thank you so much for choosing to invite us into your home, your office, or wherever you are. Um, we're in week two, no, week three of our summer series 2021 here at the BACP. We're telling you stories about how the BACP got its start, and they're being told to you by people who were actually here. As you know, over the summer, they're gonna come back and we'll have other pieces of their interviews. We interviewed them all at one time and this is just a snippet from one. Steve Cowan helped me with this particular interview and Ron Friedberg was present as well. So you may hear their voices in the background. But today's special guest is Tom Berenson. He's been here from the early days as well and has a lot of great stories to tell you. So without further ado, please welcome Tom Berenson. I practiced optometry in uh, Broken Arrow. One of my patients, and this would have been back in 78, 79, Chester Beebe. He was, he was still in high school. But he'd come in and we'd check, you know, I'd check his eyes and we do silly stuff and dialects and act crazy. And he told me about a community theater that he and Bob Plum were putting together. And he kept, he kept on me, you know, you need to come audition, you need to come audition. And I said, nah, 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 nah. I finally gave him. Diary of Anne Frank. That was my first uh, show here at, at Broken Arrow. Played Mr. Crawler, who was the gentleman that owned the building uh, where they hid. Uh, I had never done any acting or any theater at all. And it was unbelievable. It, it to, to try to explain it to somebody that's never done it. I couldn't think of anything that, that it, I loved it. Absolutely fell in love with it. If I wasn't in a play, I was working uh, tech. Uh, I ran sound for a uh, seven year itch. Did, did, uh, did sound for that. At that time, we were in the original building on Main Street, which had been the old uh, Broken Arrow Ledger building. The tech booth was uh, above the um, seating area. Well, it wasn't above it. It was uh, at the back of the front row of uh, bleachers, seats. Uh, the theater was set up in what's called a thrust. It was on three sides and the uh, action took place on the floor. <laughs> we decided one night, it was myself, uh, Carlita Manning, <laughs> neat, neat lady, and I can't remember who the third guy was up in the booth. We decided we would dress in costume. So I had a monk's outfit. Carlita had uh, a nun's outfit. And so here we are, and people, you know, they could turn around and look and see us up there. They don't know what the heck's going on. Bob Plum, who was the uh, director emeritus, um, he, there was a, there was a trap door <laughs> and you could, um, that's how we got up in the booth. It was like you were going into a closet in the uh, uh, waiting area, the auditorium, not the order, the other thing, whatever you wait in before you go, you know what it is, I know you do, call me and tell me. So, we... <laughs> There was a trap door in the, uh, in the floor of the booth, and that's how you got up there. He climbed up a ladder, go into this closet, climbed up a ladder. 
Well, we hear all this noise, and we listen, and there's Bob Plum looking up at us, <laughs> going, what in the hell are you doing? It was great. It was great. Uh, from there, oh my God, my first uh, lead was Fiddler. And it, it was magic. It, it, I've done it twice here at Broken Arrow. I've done it once with Theater Tulsa. And the first time was the best. It, it was, it was unbelievable. Wonderful cast. Uh, it was the first musical I'd ever done. It, it was unbelievable. I loved it. If you happen to have been there, that's the original program. And that's Chester. He posed as the, the fiddler. It was great. Went from there, oh my God, I talked my friend Ronnie Friedberg who's like a brother, even though we didn't have the same father or the same mother, come to think of it. But, but we're like brothers. I talked him into, I said, Ronnie, you've got to go and try it. I said, it is going to blow you away. <laughs> so you'll hear from him here in a little bit. I'll let him do his step there. Wasn't that great? Oh my goodness, I enjoyed that story about up in the booth so much. It's just so interesting to hear about the backstage things because so many times all we ever really see is the final production. That was really great fun. And it was also so amazing to hear how much being part of the start of the BACP and just being part of the BACP family meant to Tom. He'll be back later in the summer to uh, tell you more of his memories. but. That's it for this week. So once again, we thank you for joining us here. We hope that you'll come back for more Summer Series 2021 on stage at the BACP.